Ever wondered why kangaroos hop instead of walk? Well, we're here to unravel the mysteries of these fascinating creatures. Kangaroos, native to the land down under Australia, are marsupials recognized worldwide for their unique mode of transport, hopping. They can reach speeds of over 30 miles per hour and leap over 25 feet in a single bound. How's that for an Olympic long jump? Now, you might be wondering why kangaroos hop instead of walking like most other mammals. The answer lies in their anatomy. Their hind legs are much more powerful and longer than their front legs, making hopping an efficient form of locomotion. Moreover, their large muscular tail serves as a counterbalance and support during movement. Kangaroos are not just about hopping, though. They are social creatures that live in groups known as mobs. These mobs can range from just a few kangaroos to more than a hundred, and they provide safety in numbers against predators. Kangaroos also have a complex social structure with a dominant male, often referred to as a boomer, leading the pack. These intriguing creatures inhabit the diverse landscapes of Australia, from the cool mountainous regions to the arid outback. They have adapted to these varying environments with different species preferring different habitats. For instance, the red kangaroo, the largest of the species, prefers the open plains of the outback, while the eastern grey kangaroo is commonly found in the more fertile regions of eastern Australia and Tasmania. And did you know that kangaroos have a unique way of reproducing? Their reproductive system allows them to delay the development of their embryo until the conditions are right, a phenomenon known as embryonic diapause. This means a kangaroo can be perpetually pregnant. Quite an intriguing fact, isn't it? Now that we've piqued your interest, let's delve into the life of a kangaroo from birth to maturity. Imagine being born as small as a jelly bean. That's the reality for a baby kangaroo. In the extraordinary world of marsupials, the birth of a kangaroo is a marvel that truly stands out. Unlike most mammals, kangaroos are born in an incredibly primitive state, a mere fraction of their mother's size. After a month of gestation, a kangaroo joey, pink and hairless, embarks on a remarkable journey. This tiny creature, no larger than a jelly bean and weighing less than a gram, is born into the harsh Australian wilderness. Yet, its survival instincts are already hardwired. It instinctively crawls up its mother's belly to the safety of the pouch. Once inside the pouch, the joey attaches itself to one of its mother's teats, which swells in its mouth securing the joey's source of nutrition. Here, in this warm safe haven, the joey continues its development, much like a second womb. For the next several months, the pouch serves as the joey's entire world. It grows and matures, developing fur, eyes, and ears, transforming from a tiny blind creature into a miniature kangaroo. All the while, it remains tethered to its mother, feeding on her milk which changes in composition as the joey grows to meet its changing nutritional needs. Every birth is a miracle, but the birth of a kangaroo is a testament to the wonders of evolution and adaptation. From a tiny creature barely larger than a jelly bean, the kangaroo embarks on a fascinating journey of growth. What's life like inside a pouch? Let's explore. A kangaroo's pouch isn't just a cozy carry-all, it's a lifeline for the joey, the baby kangaroo, who is born in an incredibly undeveloped state. Barely an inch long, blind and hairless, the newborn kangaroo known as a neonate must make a perilous journey from the birth canal to the pouch. Once safely ensconced in this protective pocket, the joey latches onto one of its mother's teats which swells in its mouth, securing the joey's food supply. This teat delivers a steady stream of milk, specially formulated for the joey's growth stage. This milk is rich in the nutrients the joey needs to grow, changing in composition as the joey develops. Life inside the pouch is warm and secure, but it's not a passive existence for the joey. As it grows, it begins to explore its surroundings, learning about the world from the safety of its mother's pouch. The joey will peek out of the pouch, taking in the sights, sounds, and smells of its environment. The mother kangaroo's pouch is a marvel of biological engineering. It's lined with powerful muscles that can tighten to protect the joey from harm or loosen to allow the growing joey to climb in and out. The pouch even has a sort of one-way system. It can close up to prevent the joey from tumbling out when the mother kangaroo is hopping around. During the first six months, 
the joey will grow from the size of a jelly bean to roughly the size of a house cat, all within the confines of the pouch. But as the joey continues to grow, the pouch can no longer contain its burgeoning curiosity and boundless energy. The joey begins to venture out of the pouch, taking its first tentative hops under the watchful eye of its mother. Each outing lasts a little longer, each hop takes it a bit further, until eventually it is ready to leave the pouch life behind. As the joey grows, the pouch can no longer contain its curiosity and energy. It's time to venture out. Scene script. Stepping out of the pouch is a big leap for a joey. It's a whole new world out there. Imagine the first time a joey pokes its head out of the pouch and gazes upon the vast Australian outback. The sun is warm, the grass is green, and the breeze carries the scent of eucalyptus. It's a world of wonder and discovery that awaits these young kangaroo pups. But also a world of challenges and dangers. The first order of business for a joey outside the pouch is learning how to hop. Although they are born with the instinct to leap, the technique takes time to perfect. Like a toddler taking their first steps, the joey will stumble and falter, but with each attempt, they grow more confident. The strength in their hind legs will develop quickly, and before long they'll be bounding alongside their mothers with ease and grace. While the joey is mastering the art of hopping, it also begins to forage for food. Initially, they nibble on soft grasses and leaves under the watchful eye of their mother. Joey's diet gradually expands to include a variety of plants native to their habitat. They learn from their mothers which plants are safe to eat and which ones to avoid. This is a crucial part of their survival training. Life outside the pouch is not all fun and games, though. The Australian outback is home to a host of predators, including dingoes and large birds of prey. A young kangaroo must always be on high alert. Their keen senses and strong legs are their best defense against these threats. They are fast learners and quickly understand the importance of staying close to their mother and the safety of the mob. Over time, the joey will spend less and less time in the pouch, until one day it no longer fits. This is a significant milestone in a kangaroo's life and marks the transition from childhood to adolescence. With each passing day, the joey grows stronger and more independent, soon reaching maturity. From a tiny jelly bean sized baby to a strong hopping adult, the kangaroo has come a long way. The life of a mature kangaroo is a fascinating blend of survival, social structure, and romance. The diet of a mature kangaroo mainly consists of grasses and shrubs. They are herbivores and have a unique way of conserving water, absorbing it directly from their food and minimizing their need to drink. This is particularly useful in the arid plains of Australia where water can be scarce. Socially, kangaroos live in groups known as mobs, comprised of two to 10 individuals on average. The mob provides security against predators and a social structure for mating. The dominant male, often referred to as a boomer, has the privilege of mating with the females in the group. Speaking of mating, kangaroos have a fascinating courtship ritual. The male will court a female by touching her tail and presenting his chest. If she's interested, she'll respond by touching his face or chest. A successful courtship leads to a gestation period of around a month, after which a new jellybean-sized joey will begin its journey in life. But it's not all romance and grass munching. Kangaroos are known for their boxing skills, with males often engaging in fights for dominance within the mob. These bouts involve powerful kicks and punches, showcasing the strength and agility of these fascinating creatures. From birth to maturity, the journey of a kangaroo is a captivating tale of resilience and survival. The kangaroo's journey, filled with unique adaptations and survival strategies, is truly fascinating. We've hopped through the intriguing facts about these marsupials right from their birth. Isn't it remarkable how a neonate, barely larger than a bean, embarks on a perilous climb to the mother's pouch? And once safe inside, it continues to grow and develop in this unique, warm and nurturing environment. Emerging from the pouch, a young kangaroo or joey faces a world full of challenges and adventures. There, it learns to hop, forage and navigate life in the wild. Maturing into an adult kangaroo, it's equipped with powerful hind legs, a strong tail for balance, and a pouch for future offspring. These creatures represent a testament to nature's ingenuity, adapting and thriving in Australia's diverse landscapes. So the next time you see a kangaroo hop by, remember 
the incredible journey it has taken to get there.